Welcome to Perinesi 2010 Getting Started. Perinesi is an interactive paint rendering system that enables you to produce high quality artistic images from three dimensional models. To paint in Perinesi, you need to create a rendered scene using a conventional modeling application and save it as an apex file. In Perinesi, the paint is sensitive to the surface you want to paint and to the angle and distance of the surface within the scene. You can paint the surfaces of a rendered scene without having to mask the textures on each surface. Perinesi 2010 Pro comes complete with an extensive library of brushes, textures, grains and cutouts which you can easily add to. There is no limit to the effects that can be generated from Perinesi, from soft watercolors to clearly defined etchings and from pen and ink to atmospheric mists. In this tutorial we will look at exporting a, a model from SketchUp Pro as an Apex file. I have an Apex file here of a SketchUp model. This image is a 2D image of an original 3D model. Perinesi is intelligent enough to determine that this Apex file was created from a 3D model. Perinesi works with pixels and pixel depth and intelligently works out the perspective. In this tutorial we will look at SketchUp Pro 7 as our modeling application. For all existing SketchUp Pro users, the export plugin is already available within the software. For all SketchUp free users, we have an export plugin that can be downloaded off our site and used to export an Apex file from the free version. To start off with, I have a SketchUp model that was modeled in SketchUp Pro 7 with various different scenes set up. These can be easily e exported out as views in Perinesi. I also have my shadow settings defined and set and sketch and Perinesi sees these perfectly well. Once you have determined the scene that you would like to render in Perinesi, you can export this scene easily without having to wait hours to render. You notice I have varying shades of grey in the model. The reason for this is to differentiate the different materials of the buildings and these will be painted in Perinesi as individual textures. I'm going to start off by exporting two identical scenes from SketchUp Pro, one with glass and one without. I can do this by switching off the glass layer within the layers dialog or switching it back on. For the first view, I'm going to export it out without the glass. I can quickly switch off the glass layer. I can do this by file, export, 2D graphic and choose Apex as my file format and I can say no glass. Under options, you notice I have set a size of 3800 pixels to 2074. The reason for having the pixel width and height set to fairly high is that you get a good quality image to render in Perinesi. I've already exported one out earlier, so I will not do that again. I can turn the glass on from the layers dialog and do the same thing again. I export 2D graphic. This time I can say with glass. You notice I have exactly the same options and exactly the same view. I can go and export that. Once again I've already done this. I can launch Perinesi. And I now have the scene from SketchUp Pro. To start off with, I'll bring the second file that we exported out of SketchUp by going to File, Import, with Glass. If 
you notice Perinese automatically creates a second layer. I'm going to hide the building on the second layer and leave only the glass. I can now start painting the image. I'm going to start off by painting the glass. The reason for creating the second layer, uh, the second image from SketchUp with the glass is so that you can go in Perinese and paint the glass and change the opacity of the glass. Start adding The layers feature in Perinese 2010 Pro is exceptionally good as you can create several different layers of the same scene. We've got a layers tutorial on our website that explains the use of layers in more detail. I'm quickly going to generate layer, create a new layer, add the water, I can reduce the opacity on the water, I can then go in there and create, I'm using a ripple brush to just give a few ripple effects. You can use your own brush styles and bring them into Perinese to create different effects. I can reduce the opacity on both the layers just to blend in the color. I can do the same thing on the side. As mentioned, Piranesi comes with a large extensive library of brushes and techniques that can be used. You can change the blend mode on there. Sorry, wrong. can quickly go in and populate the scene. Let's do the paint the hedge to give it more definition. Again I'm using brushes and things that are already available within Piranesi 2010. Using a Bristol brush to just give it a rough effect. I can blend different blend modes. You notice that if I move the cursor around anywhere else on the screen, nothing else gets painted and that's because I'm using a material lock and the material lock defines and restricts paint to a certain texture and material. 